Welcome to the CMU CS Academy uh, summary videos. Uh, so this is the first in a long series that, uh, that's going to go through each unit and in some cases when things get more complicated parts of units. Uh, and our goal is going to be to summarize all of the content in a, a couple of quick videos. In, in For unit one, it'll just be one quick video. Uh, and then to do some an example just to kind of walk you through some of the coding um, so that you're, you're prepared to handle the content. Right, so just to, to make sure it's clear, what we're not going to do is you can see that I have some exercises up here. Um, I'm not going to be doing any of the CMU exercises. Right, That's something that in your class or as you're learning uh, that you will do independently right, and work with, with a teacher, hopefully. Uh, if you're doing it um, on your own, I'm sure there are sources out there that have that content. But what we're going to do is just summarize the material in hopefully a clear way. Uh, and then uh, do just a, an example in the sandbox just to show you how these, these new concepts work. Okay, so starting off, you can see that this one is all about creating drawings, right? So that's what unit one's about. So it's going to introduce some very basic programming concepts like syntax and parameters, um, but it's really about getting you comfortable with writing code uh, and using the uh, CMU interface uh, so that you can create drawings, which is how you learn about programming in this course. You learn via drawing uh, pictures and then eventually doing some animations and some interactive uh, content which will be later, right? But for right now, we're just gonna learn the basics of how to create content, All right? So let's go through and, and talk about the canvas, right? So the canvas uh, for CMU uh, is a, a 400 pixel grid, right? So you can see down here uh, that I have the, the uh, squ uh, square grid, right? So it starts off, and this is a little different than if you're like in a math class, right? Typically in a math class, when you go to the right, that's a positive direction. And when you go down, that's a negative direction, right? Uh, on this canvas, and this is true also of, of like, uh, if you do graphic design and programming as well, um, the top left pixel is the coordinate zero, zero, right? And then as we move to the right, just like in a math class, uh, it increases the first number of our ordered pair, right? So it, it will always be in a positive direction. So as we increase to the right, uh, the, the first number gets larger so that when I get to the end, 400 pixels later, I'm at 400, okay? When I go down, and this is the one that gets most people, down is a positive direction. So as I go down, I'm gonna increase uh, this one also up to 400 pixels, but you can see now that the Y coordinates drawing uh, is growing, okay? And so if you notice, if I go all the way down and all the way to the right, I end up with the highest possible ordered pair, which is 400, 400, right? So this is how you're going to place objects on the, uh, the canvas is to know the coordinates that you would like to place them uh, going to the right in a positive direction and down in a positive direction up to 400 pixels, okay? And so what that means is that 200, 200 is the exact center of our canvas, right? If I can go as far as 400 to the right, 200 would be in the middle of zero and 400. And then the same thing will be true going up and down, right? So 200, 200 is the center. I can go as far to the right as 400 and as far down as 400, right? So that's what we're gonna be looking at uh, when we start on a blank canvas and we're trying to place our objects, we will use this coordinate grid uh, for every one of the exercises that you do for the entire year. Okay, so that's the first important thing you need to know about creating drawings. Okay, the second one is just a little bit of language. We're gonna start talking about how to draw a rectangle all right, we're gonna start in the just the sandbox drawing a rectangle. Uh, and so the two important programming concepts that show up in this unit, uh, the first one is about uh, what is called syntax, right? Syntax is a programming concept or just a general writing concept um, that talks about how to correctly write something. Okay, so in, in programming, uh, spelling matters, obviously. If I write R-E-C, X, right? It's obviously not going to know that that's a rectangle, right? Uh, the case matters, which that's something that a lot of people miss. Uh, so when we write about a rectangle, we'll be using a capital R, right, in rectangle. And if you write it as a lowercase r, that will matter, right? And then obviously punctuation, uh, and so like where we put a parenthesis or a comma or a semicolon or anything like that will matter, okay? That's the first thing we have to worry about. The second thing we have to worry about is what is called the parameters, right? Each of our commands that we're going to write okay, has uh, certain commands or certain parameters that we need to input. Okay, Some of them are required, right? You must have them there in order to, uh, to draw the shape. And some of them are optional, which means you can add them in at the end. But if you don't put those ones in, uh, the, the program will understand how to uh, how to deal with that, right? So for example, if, if we did not put in a border command, uh, it might create a, a border width, for example, it will just make a border width of two, right? 
So it, there are some defaults for that kind of thing. Okay, so we're going to have to, when we're doing all of these shapes that we're going to learn about, think about the syntax and think about what parameters are required in order to do that. Okay. So let's start off talking about the rectangle command. And we're going to go to our uh, to our sandbox so we can do some writing. Right. So this is our sandbox. Right. On the on the left we have our coding space, and on the right hand side we have uh, our canvas, which is where things are going to write. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so it's not being blocked by the by the actual uh, presentation. Okay. So when we draw the, a rectangle, here's what we're going to do. Okay. To draw the rectangle, you will need to know its parameters and its syntax. Right. So we are going to uh, see here on the screen that for a rectangle, we're going to uh, need to give the following things: top coordinate, left coordinate, width, and height. Right. So it needs these four things. Right. So when I'm drawing my rectangle, okay. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the actual coding, and then we'll come back out to see what, what happens. I'm going to type in RECT, okay? I must have an open parenthesis, okay? And now it's asking me for a, a required coordinates, uh, the top left corner, right? So I'm going to make a top left corner at 200, comma 100, okay? So if I think about on my canvas, right? So let's zoom back out now. On my canvas, remember 200 to the right would be dead, dead in the middle, okay? That is my X uh, change. And then 100, if this is a 400 unit grid down bottom, right, 100 would be kind of a quarter of the way down. So I'm expecting the top left corner of this rectangle to be right here, right? Also notice, let me zoom out further, right, that there is a coordinate pair down here, an XY, and that is going to tell you where your mouse is currently located. So if we wanted to find 200, I can go over to here and say, okay, I'm at about 185. Okay, so right here is 200, and then if I go down to 100, I can kind of estimate that right about here is where the top left corner is going to be. Okay, so that's my 200, 100. That is the top and the left, right? And now I need to also do the width and the height. And this can be anything you want, right? So I'm going to say that this is going to be, uh, let's say, 50 wide and 100 tall, right? So it's the width first, then the height. Okay. Notice my rectangle R is uh, the R is capitalized, so that is a part of the syntax. Notice I have commas in between each of these parameters. That is a part of the syntax. And notice that I open and close a parenthesis. That is also a part of the syntax, right? My four parameters are located in here, right? And then if I go up to this big green uh, run button and hit run, you can see there's my rectangle, right? And if I hover over it on the canvas, I can see the actual uh, points on the important points on the outside, and I can see that it is color black, right? It is filled in black, which is a default. We can change that, right? But I can see that my top left corner is at 200, 100, okay? And now here's a little bit of math for you. If I'm sitting at 200, 100, and I ask the width to be 50, right, I would I know that then this coordinate to the right should be 250, right? 200 plus 50 makes 250, right? I know that if my second coordinate is uh, starting at 100, and I know that my height is also 100, that when I go down, my Y value should switch to 200, right? So that's my way of, see, of verifying that this stuff is correct, okay? And so that's kind of how, how the, the drawing's gonna work, is we're gonna have to uh, type the commands in, right? We're gonna have to give some required parameters, right? And then there's